Good evening. We begin tonight with a correction. That is what's happening in the markets. The Dow plunged more than 1,000 points today, or 4.15%. That puts the Dow 10% below the high it hit last month. That is the textbook definition of a correction. Most of the drop came just since Friday, nearly 9%. So what is behind this sell-off? Here is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. The last half hour of trading today was brutal. A more than 430-point plunge, capping off a terrible day on Wall Street. It all started last Friday when investors worried that news of higher wages would trigger inflation and prompt the Federal Reserve to increase short-term interest rates faster than expected. Higher rates could lead to slower economic growth and make it harder for companies to earn money. And this week, there's been a new concern. Big traders have been forced to unwind a bet that markets would remain calm. Until this recent selling started, big market swings had been rare over the past two years. In November, the VIX, which measures anticipated ups and downs in the S&P 500, had fallen to all-time lows. Many of the best-performing stocks over the last year have struggled recently, including technology companies, banks, and health care. And Jill joins us now. So volatility is the word they use and we use here. How long do you think all of this continues for? You know, it's totally unknowable. It could be days, it could be weeks, it could be months. But what I really want to stress is buckle up. It is going to be bumpy. And so people always make the point that the economy is not the market and the market is not the economy. That said, does what's happening then have some sort of an impact on what's happening economically? Other because otherwise it, it looks positive. Right, and we are in a good place. But I would point out that if the selling continues, if not just a correction, we get to a bear market, that could erode confidence both on the consumer level, perhaps more importantly, with companies. It's very important that we see companies kind of stand up to this. If they do, we'll be okay. But the reality is, without that confidence, they won't hire, they won't spend money, and we need them to do that. We need consumers to do that as well. All right, Jill, thank you very much. Yeah.